Here we have case three in another patient with primary hypoparathyroidism. Boring old history, right? Again, starting at the hyoid, looking in the, focusing on the arterial phase in that utopic location. Coming down, not seeing anything in our paraesophageal locations like the other two cases. So now we're looking posterior to the inferior part of the thyroid and also lateral. There's something here potentially, but we'll get to that later. And then when we're scrolling down lower, there's another candidate here that's inferior to the right lobe. And then comparing on the non-contrast images, that is also low attenuation. Okay, so we've got two uh, possibilities here. And this is where the other planes are very helpful. Okay, so let's have a look at the other planes. So when we're looking on, say, the coronal plane, the lesion that we saw on the, on the left side actually ends up being vessels and we can trace them, they're linear. These are just prominent veins. However, the lesion on the right side, we can see is rounded focal centrally. It has even some, possibly some, some cystic component. And then it also has a, a vessel going to it. So here we've got a, a fairly small lesion. It's measuring up to six, seven millimeters, but that's just one of the secondary signs. The other two are the cystic change, the polar vessel, and this one has it. So this is a inferior lesion, and we could consider this consistent with a parathyroid adenoma.